Mixed Russian dentist and American engineer with 30 years age difference who throw it all away for ocean exploration. Sell everything, fix the old boat and sail away. Time for big guns. This is definitely the nastiest job I've ever been doing. Never too late to see the world through our channel. Subscribe and share the adventure. In the last episode, we attacked the bottom of our steel motorcycle. First did media blasting and then applied a special rust preventive seal. Good morning, Don Hunters. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jana. And I'm Captain William. Hey to all of you guys that have been watching us, the 1000 out there, and all the new people. Today we are taking you through our sweaty, hot day in the boat yard. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to be working on crow's nest, chain plates, a few other designs, and a summary. How about that hard, soft carrot thing that you're doing? I'm making my own experiment with storage of fruits and vegetables on the boat because, as you guys know, they don't last long. So, make sure you, wa you watch those soft carrots. Stay with us to the end because we're going to answer a few questions from our subscribers. This is almost as good as something else. <laughs> so you finished painting under the stands when they moved it? Yep. Good job. Yep, so this paint, um, if you put it too thick, does not, how you say it, does not it does not adhere. That's why you will need to always check after you finish if you can the next day and see if there is anything missing or like there is like some dimples on oh, the oh. whole yeah. Look at this. Rusted steel bar. We just painted last month over the rust. No cleaning or anything. That was the same on that side. No cleaning or anything. It becomes part of the rust. So strong that this morning when I tried to get the top off the can, I couldn't. I had to like pry and cut all the way around to get the top off. It becomes part of the steel. That is part of the steel. Next, two part epoxy. This is not the kind that I like. I like the white ones inside. This one's another very sweet. When you have a sweet husband, so. How's your carrot experiment? Oh, let's see. Ooh. This is getting sung yet for very soft. <laughs> <laughs> and this, the interesting thing. It lost its vacuum. Yes, it did. But well, I mean, it, it didn't lost it that much. But they have a firm. Yeah. Yeah. And they started to sweat a little bit because it, it lost the vacuum. Back to normal. Yeah, but the difference for, for try is tremendous. Yeah, Don't this... damage the but and this hard. I don't know what you do in the boat all day. <laughs> I'm trying to make a living here. <laughs> make a living? Well, not money wise. Oh. Hey, what happened here again? I know what happened. Yeah. That fool, it didn't poke the capsule. No, you didn't put a capsule in there. I did. But if it's full, it doesn't poke the holes in it. Looks like holes to me. You sit there and <laughs> don't come. Manage. I'm managing. Mm -hmm. No holes. It wasn't all the way down. It couldn't because it was full. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So is the coffee maker the fool? No one is a fool. <laughs> I heard you say it. the person who's sitting behind the I camera. heard you say this fool didn't pop the capsule again. I said it because it was full. Oh, <laughs> I said that was full. <laughs> you don't think I call coffee machine fool? <laughs> 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 this fool. 
Nothing like a full cup of coffee. <laughs> Yesterday, me and William cleaned this part so I, I can exercise with my TRX. We removed the chair, removed the table, and guess what? I didn't exercise. <laughs> we are bringing our trailer. William has a special, uh, how do you say, special circumstances in the sailor man. They allowed him to keep a, tra a trailer on their parking lot so he can put their all kinds of stuff that he doesn't want to take with him right away. Um, so, it, it, so he stores it in there. So you can see the level. Um, of business? <laughs> no, it's not the level of business. It's the level of... Relationship. No, it's the level of addiction that William yeah, has. Yeah, addiction. <laughs> that he has to have a tra trailer at the shop parking lot. You know, so he can put all his stuff in there that he buys. When it's used things, it comes in, and when it comes in, it goes immediately. So you've got to have a place to either take it away or put it away. And the trailer is where we can put it away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trailer? is not the end of this story my love rented a shop in the boatyard so he can be working on the dawn hunter not just in the boatyard but also in the shop so basically he wants to extend his boat work um, hours i don't know any other crazy man like that um, and here now he's unloading his stuff in that shop. What I'm afraid is about is that will we be able to move out of that shop once the Don Hunter goes to the water? I don't want to be stuck here. Is it our new mast in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is big. Write me in the comments what this mast is coming from. What do you think? Is it a monohull? You know, it's a tamaran? Or who knows what? Catamaran's getting a new mast set up and a new front cable mast system or jam. And you can see that this is all brand new. The old mast chain plates let loose and tore the mast all the pieces. So this was the mast. You can see the size of the cable that's in the inside of this. It's huge. I think it's pretty cool. I never knew that in the in the middle of the of this um, front sail there is a cable. I had no idea about that. I think it's pretty cool. So much to learn yet. did such a great job super smooth hopefully ours gonna get up um, as easy as this one I'm 
afraid that TRX defeated me. I got half of the exercises. Here you are. Hello. You're right on time. What? I just finished my TRX exercising. In a bathing suit? Well, I figured that I can be like back in the days, I was wearing a top and a shirt and then would throw it away in the in the washing and then you remember how they are in me they are like soaking wet so if i will, will be putting those stuff in our washing bag there's going to be a rotting in there i don't even know it's probably going to be like in the shower there so you're working out naked no in the swimsuit <sighs> mm. someone got food here maranga i see we had Unwrinkled curtains. <laughs> Till I mentioned them. Well, I was exercising and then I saw a guy in the cart talking to other guy and I'm like, I don't know if they're just talking or they just stopped and they're pretending that they're talking while they're watching. So I closed it. What do you think? <laughs> So it's almost 8, William is still in the shop, I haven't seen him whole afternoon, so I'm gonna go check on him, spy on him, see what he's doing over there, if he's alive or not, you never know, he's this guy. Got a lot accomplished today, I wanted to quickly walk you through some things, most importantly, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, you're gonna see a whole lot of things fast. If you want something in detail, send us a private message or a comment and we'll get them answered. Starting out, we've been working on the crow's nest, got a layout, have a design, worked in the cabs, welded the side supports, and now working on the base platform so we have somewhere to stand and still climb up the mast in between this. Moving further down the mast, I've got the radar support now in place. This is going to be welded tomorrow. So it's attached to the old support that was in place. So I'm not having to modify the mast. We also cut two inches away from the bottom of the mast today. We put a new plate on. In a previous video that I was talking about lowering your mast, I stated that we were going to lower the mast. In fact, in this case not, because this is a cathedral type mast where it pivots on a pin and everything has been designed around this pin position. So I will add to the bottom of the cathedral mount to match this. Then, at the same time, today have welded the very first supports for the dinghy machinery lift. This is going to rotate on two pivot pins at the lower section, and it'll lower down to the water level so it can raise the dinghy past the swim platform and then put it up at a height where we can still see off the stern of the boat. Finally, at the end, all of the chain plates that I also had on a video about chain plates, we now have those rounded, cut. Tomorrow we'll grind the steel on each side so the chain plate can then be welded stainless to steel and then later I can weld the steel to the hull of the boat. So we have like metal welding 
taking place for the utmost strength. That was our day. Two days ago, this little storage place was empty. Today, we've turned it into a makeshift shop and we're moving fast for the Dawn Hunter. Subscribe, like, make sure you comment. We'll always answer the comments, give you information back. Thanks for being with us. So that's where I will be sitting on? No, that is for the radar. <laughs> okay. This is where I'll be sitting this on? This is your seat. <laughs> well, the cushion's all prepared. <laughs> Can I have one more? Nice and soft and a seat belt. Well, you can put one here. <laughs> yeah, that's there's, perfect. There's Yana's, Yana's, Yana's clothes there. Completely so padding. You, you want to kill me right in away? In case, you need to have a long one so you can lay down. <laughs> you can stripe me to the mast. Do what to the mast? Strip me? Stripe me? Strap you. <laughs> Strap you or something else. <laughs> Strap me. Unloaded our solar panels. See the size of these beasts? Whoa, that's freaking huge. Wow. Four of those. Yeah, it's big. I thought they're like half of the size. Mm -hmm. Well. So what about crow's nest? Crow's nest. Yana's nest. So it's going to go like this. Okay. In, in this location. So this is where I'm going to be holding on? You're going to be holding here, you're going to be standing there. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And that is going to be teak in here? That's going to be teak. So imagine it's kind of like this. But taller. But up here. Okay. I said we don't need help. Not at all. Hey. <laughs> What'd you get, Yuli? I got three packs of water. And a couple of bottles of wine. Yeah. Are we going somewhere? Maybe two bread, meat. Uh, it's okay. I'm just kidding. Do you know what the cart secret is? Yes, I know the cart yeah. secret is. Get your husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. a cart secret. Is. The cart secret is put the heavy stuff back here. And when are you gonna put these four panels, the solar panels, on top of this? and a hatch of the skylight here. Like, how are you going to manage all of that? Yes. I didn't think the panels were that large. They are. We're going to have a panel here on the one on the port side, one on the starboard side. That's permanently mounted. And I'm thinking to then mount the secondary ones on a slide. And then what we can do is we can, like this here, we can slide them back. Uh -huh. And they'll be resting here, so we have all four out when we're just want shade or when we need to get full power. And then they'll slide back into position. I don't know if I like it. When we want sunshine. But I guess I don't have any options, do I? <laughs> well, let's see. Yes, you could sleep without fans <laughs> no. or no charger That's not for the an phone. Option. So it's time to. Um, put together the molding carrot experiment. I put six carrots, six carrots in a Ziploc bag and I suck the vacuum out with this thing. There is a special bag that you use and you can suck the air off. I got like the control carrot which I left here outside of the boat. The fruits and vegetables don't last here long enough and sometimes I don't have enough space in the fridge and they don't last very long for whatever reason I have no idea if you guys know let me know in the comments I made this experiment carrot looks that was in the bag for two weeks the moisture was building up inside the bag and that was kind of desealing the bag from inside that's what I think and because of that I had to reseal the bag like once in three days and in the last three days I didn't do that and that what happened some of the carrots got mold that's the carrot after two weeks being outside in the boat now you want to see the carrot um, the control carrot right 
carrot from here. This is a carrot without sealed bag. So now you can see why this is freaking perfect, even with a little bit of mold uh, that I cut out of the other carrots. Some of them got more uh, more mold than others, but it's still like this is not freaking comparable to this. Now I finally can throw this away because William was like, when are you gonna throw this away? There are bugs all over. I'm like, oh, no bugs. No one wants to eat this. There are fresh food in there. Why would they eat this nasty carrot? For those of you that think we're chasing sea creatures around with all these beautiful palm trees and uh, coladas. This is the reality of refitting a boat after eight months all right so as promised we're gonna answer a couple of questions from you guys the first question was why did you select the steel boat over fiberglass the selection of a steel boat probably goes back to the roots of working on oil rigs and knowing the strength and stability also knowing that i have the ability to weld cut chop grind uh, and i hate itching and scratching but there are a lot more technical details behind that and we'll cover that in our live session on Saturday and what is the next question a lot of our subscribers ask about our cultural differences I'm from America Jan is from Russia and that's a good question well when I just came here I was like no way I can marry an American man because the difference is so 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 tremendous and dramatic <laughs> but then i met william and surprisingly we share a lot of common things together and even like the food that i cook sometimes he would recognize and i'm like that is strange you cannot be tasting something from russia and he said apparently he has heritage from his family from poland russia and some Ukrainian even uh, roots so that's why maybe it's not that difficult for us but of course of course there are multiple things that come up once in a while and those you can see in our video and so what's the last question the last question is that we get a lot how is it to live in Miami oh I've been here 17 years traveled around the globe, lived in a lot of different places. Miami is not the U.S. Miami just thinks it's part of the U.S. There are people here from all over the globe. It's very hard to even hear someone speaking English because between Spanish and Russian and Italian and French and any language you can imagine. So Miami is really a multinational city, multinational foods. I came here thinking that Don Johnson ruled from that show and we're on the Miami River where it was filmed but again Miami is very diverse in only five minutes you're out in the bay in only 15 minutes you're out in the ocean so it's an amazing place to live if you've got both love in your heart all right so we have more questions but those we're gonna answer on Saturday on our live make sure you tune in it's in the evening I do not remember the exact time. I think it's 8 uh, p.m., but I'm not sure, so check it out on the page. Get your favorite wine or beer or any beverage of your choice and celebrate with us 1,000 subscribers. We will discuss one year of restoring our motor sailor and two years of living aboard a trawler. Why did you select fiberglass boat Versus what? <laughs> I have no voice, you have no Wait. brain. <laughs>